Thank you, Jesus. Let's go right now to the book of uh, Luke 18. Luke chapter 18. 2.22. Luke 18 and verse number 1 coming. Those who are watching right now, may the living God bless everyone. May your life never be the same. I want everybody to know that you are the right place at the right time. May your God bless you. Let's go right now. Uh, you might read from the NIV, please. Luke 18, uh, verse 1. Uh -huh. Luke 18 and verse number what? Verse 1. Verse 1. Uh -huh. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor care what people thought. Now watch this. This was a wonderful parable, am I right? That Jesus gave to who? His disciples. His disciples. Uh -huh. A parable. Uh -huh. a parable. He, said a he said in a certain town. In a certain town. There was a judge. There was a judge. Who neither feared God. Who neither feared God. Nor cared for what people thought. Uh -huh. And there was a widow. In that town. Now, I want you to underline the word there was a widow or a widow. Mm -hmm. A widow. And watch this. According to Messianic law, according to Messianic word law, Moses says something. Excuse me. Like if a woman, church, <laughs> if that woman's husband, you know, died, then they have to take care of who? Of that woman. And according to the New Testament, Titus also said the same thing. That we have to take care of our world, our widow. Because we know that we men, we are the head. And if the man is no more, it means that the woman doesn't have a covering. Shout hallelujah. And Titus even mentioned a certain age. That if that person is not up to that age, the person has the right to marry. At the right time, I will preach about that. Now watch this. So this widow, according to the parable of Jesus, this widow went to the what? The judge. Mm -hmm. And told that judge, you must avenge on my behalf. Mm -hmm. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Judge, you must deliver me from my adversaries. May you save me, O oh Lord, from my haters. People are after me, Lord. Judge, I want you to save me. But the word of the Lord said that the judge rejected that woman's offer. And the woman persisted. Persisted and said that I will not give up. I will continue to persist. And I know that one day, one day, you will hear me. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The spirit of persistence. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The spirit of what? Persistence. It is very important. And let me tell you something. Without resistance, there will be no persistence. Mm. And anytime someone will try to persist, there is a way that will come in. Something will try to resist you. When you begin to persist, church, there will be some kind of forces that will try to pull you back. It will resist you not to attain or achieve God's purpose concerning your life. Shout amen. amen. So anytime we want to move forward in life and when we begin to experience this word called resistance, we give up. But if you are not doing good things, there will be no resistance. Mm -hmm. When you are doing, excuse me to say this please. When somebody is fooling or doing evil things, church, Satan will never resist that person. Because Satan knows that you are doing his will. But when you begin to do the will of God, or when you begin to pursue your future. Or when you begin to maybe establish your own business. Or to move forward in life in terms of promotion. There will be some kind of resistance. 
It means that those spirits will tell you that you don't belong to this place. You are a, long, a, a, a young lady which you cannot attain to that position. So there will be some kind of what? Resistance. They will try to resist you from your goals and your ambitions. But we must learn something from this woman. This woman said, yes, I don't have any husband. But judge, I know that you don't fear God. Judge, let's come here and pick something from here. It means that that judge was not a godly man. The judge was a wicked man. A man that doesn't fear God and doesn't have any respect or regards for any human being. But this woman said, I don't care about your arrogance and everything, but whether you like it or not, I will continue to persist and I will continue to knock at your door until you say something, I will not stop coming. 2023, we must have the spirit of persistence. We must develop this kind of spirit whereby nothing. Can I tell you something? Somebody will say that, okay, prophet, we have the negative side and the positive side. When you are doing the wrong thing and when someone tells you to stop, do not say that I have spirit of persistence I will continue, you will die. That one is foolishness. Because what you are doing will put you into trouble. You have to stop. So you cannot say that, oh, I have that spirit. No. But I'm talking about doing the will of God. Or doing the right thing. Satan will show up. And Satan at times, or no, not at times, always will try to resist you. There will be some kind of forces that will try to pull you back. So that you cannot do what God wants you to do. Let's learn something from this woman. This woman didn't have any husband, a widow. But the woman said that I know a judge and I know that that judge doesn't fear God, but I will still go to that judge. I know that that judge doesn't respect any human being, but I will still go to that judge. What is the meaning of that? Let's, let's learn something from this woman. We must take number one about her boldness. About her what? Boldness. Boldness. Some of you will do respect, pardon me to say this. If you can turn that your stubbornness spirit to do the right thing, I am telling you that you will go far. Because some of you are stubborn more than Satan himself. But if you can change it and to do the right thing, if you can be stubborn for Satan, I am telling you, you will go far. Don't be stubborn for your God. You must have that kind of a stubbornness word spirit and say that I don't care. I will still move on. Shout amen. And the woman, there was a time, you know, they just said that, yes, I know that I don't have any regards for any human being and I don't fear God. But this woman continually watch. I have to do something. The woman has already persisted, which I can't even sleep. Midnight will knock at my door. Morning will knock. Where from this woman? Where from that stubbornness uh, woman? I must do something for this woman. And the judge opened the door and said, what do you want me to do for you? First of January 2023, church, let me tell you something right now. This judge they didn't fear God, nothing, am I right? But the judge rescued the woman according to the parable of Jesus. So if this evil judge eh, rescued the, world, the woman and saved that woman, then the question right now is, how much more about our father? So it means that when we continue to persist, and chase our father, our God will answer us. So this 2023, in terms of prayer, church, you don't have to give up easily. 
Some of you will pray for three days, two days. Oh dear Lord, I need this. Oh dear Lord, I need that. If you don't see anything, you give up. Let's learn something from this woman. There is something called oppression push. You have to push until you receive something, church. You don't have to stop disturbing your what? The judge or your God. Am I talking to somebody? Am I speaking to someone? And when we move from this widow, I want to show you another widow in our Old Testament. Another widow, number one, this widow went to the judge according to Luke 18, am I right? But in the book of 2 Kings 4, Emmanuel, turn your Bible to 2 Kings 4. From King James. Yes, sir. According to the book of 2 Kings 4, let me show you something right now. Oh, mm. dear Lord, I am coming. Church, I pray. It is my prayer today. 1st of January 2023. It is my prayer today from this holy place. I declare unto your life yes. that you will never be a widow. Amen. Men in this house, yes. we will never be a widower. Amen. I said, man, you will never be a widower. Amen. And you will never be a widow. Amen. Our children will never be orphans. Amen. May you grow to see your children getting married and let your great grandchildren play in your house. Let them call your grandpa, grandma. Amen. May you be satisfied with a long life. Amen. And I declare unto your life yes, that anyone that wants you to die untimely, my God. by from grace, my God, my God. by the grace of God, God, I renounce it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Untimely dead man as us. Amen. You will live to see your great grandchildren. Amen. May you live above hundred. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The son of the living God, it is done. Amen. May the Lord deliver us from any sickness. Amen. No untimely death will come near our dwelling. Amen. Yes, Lord. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. You will never be a widow. You will never be a widow. You will never be a widower. You will never be a widower. In the mighty name of Jesus, your children will never be orphaned. There is something called earthly protection. God protect us all right. But without the earthly protection, eh, your children can mess up in life. I am telling you. Earthly protection. You may need parents that can train you. They will show you how to apologize when you offend someone. To show you about little, little courtesy. Am I talking to someone? But if some of you will witness, you know, I don't know about, maybe your parents or maybe at the young age, look at the way you suffered. From auntie to auntie, from brothers to brother, they try you with due respect, pardon me, with rape things and the whole thing, but you escape so many things. Look at the hash of the things that, church, you have no idea. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, prophet. It is very important. Your children will never, our children will never go through those things. Amen. Somebody will say that man of God, why? I want to show you something right now. The judge, the widow that went to the judge and the widow that went to the prophet. Wow. When the widow <laughs> see the judge, the judge will rescue that person will save that person. But when a widow see a judge, excuse me, a prophet, the prophet will not rescue that person, but the prophet will give the person direction. That's right. 
And through the direction, the Lord will navigate that person from what? Any trouble. So God is going to give somebody a divine direction today. Amen. A divine what? Direction okay. today. So I don't know who want to see the judge and who want to see the prophet. I am not saying you are a widow or you are a widow. No. Who want to see the prophet and who want to see the judge? The judge will use his power and to deliver you. But the judge cannot give you direction. And the prophet will not use the power to deliver you, but the prophet will tell you, do this, pass this, do this, and you will be saved. So this, though you are shaking your head, eh? so this 20, can I have a table? Bring the offering bowl. Let me show you something now. Put it here. According to the, come, Daniel, the Mosianic law. Uh, do I have someone in this house, a lady? Maybe with due respect, pardon me. Maybe you lost your husband a long, long time ago. Do I have someone? Lizzie, come. Be fast. Thank you. Stand here. Now look at this. This woman's husband used to be a pastor. A preacher. A pastor. A pastor that had to give direction. A pastor. Chad, can I tell you something? When you go on your knees, always pray for your prophet and his family. Amen. You know, at the right time, I will teach about this, okay? I will teach about that. And you will know. This man of God, this lady's husband was a pastor. And this pastor didn't have money. And this pastor had powerful sons. Two sons. Two boys, the pastor. And do you know what happened? And this man of God, one time, there was no food in the house, nothing. And this pastor went to this lady, Stella, come here, be fast. The pastor went to uh, this lady, look at me, a pastor. Madam, we just finished church service. When I went home, opened the fridge, no Gary nothing. Please, can you give me $200 so that I can get food for my children? Please, I will come and pay. Now watch this. If you have to go to the bank and get money, loan, there is something called collateral security. Am I right? If you need big, if you have big money, something you have to put some things. Yeah, they will check your credit and the whole thing. But church, back home, you must have a land, a house, your cars, anything, so that when you default, they can take everything. Am I right? And according to watch this, according to Messianic law, when I went to this lady far be from you, this wicked lady. The lady said, I don't know, the word of God didn't mention whether a lady or a man, but I'm just using her. The lady said, man of God, ah, you've been preaching, 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 that say the Lord, so you don't have any to handle it. Based on that, because of that, I will not serve your God, though. I will not serve your God. Because you have to be a wonderful yastic for those who are out there and for them to know that when you come to Christ, your Christ can change your life and your Christ can deliver you from poverty. Amen. It means that 
For you preaching the word of God, your lifestyle must also preach. And the way you live must also preach. There's a reason why the time God called me, church, I resisted. And God, I fought God and God beat me well, well. At the right time, I will tell you, I didn't want to. So because deep down in me, once upon a time, my teacher told me that your face looked like a doctor. And in terms of math and science, you can ask my wife and my children, princess, they will bring something. I will just, hey, daddy, how did you know? No. I said, you guys, you think that we are naive guys, eh? Because those days, back home, your teacher will enter classroom. There is something called, uh, in those days, mental detention. One plus one, two, two plus two, three, three plus three. When you make it, boom. I, 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 I'm not talking, but look at our children now. They will go to school with a, a, a calculator and everything by year still. In our days, with going to the exams room, when you use calculator church, prohibited and they, they will cancel your paper. Now, everybody watch this. I resisted God and, you know, I fought God. I said, Lord, I will not do it. Based on, based on what I saw when I was coming up. About the way olden days the preachers used to dress. Yes. You will see the apparent will be here. The preacher is not a bow leg person. But the shoe, the half... And the teacher automatically will become a bow leg. I used to. So the time the Lord said, I come and preach. I said, I can't be like this. Let me finish my school, Lord, and do whatever. Based on that. I don't know if you remember. They used to have some kind of old time cashmere type of jacket. Afternoon time, they will be sweating, and the, uh, the neck itself, they can turn it and take something from the air. In those days. So I didn't want to. Why? Because of what I saw. At the right time, I will tell you. And God put me at the, what, the tight corner, and I gave up. Why am I saying this? This lady insulted me, said so many things, but I needed the money. And I said, please, you just give it to me. The lady said, hey, before I give you the money, bring your two sons, Stephen and Daniel. They have to be like a, a collateral, according to Messianic law. So I use my two children as what? A collateral. And the lady gave me the money, 200. Lo and behold, came home, bought some gary, some things, and the man of God died. The man didn't pay the what? The money. And the woman didn't know that the man has already used the children as what? A collateral. Church. I am here to tell you today that you and I will never die in poverty. Amen. We will never die whilst we own banks. Amen. And own my galabaka sapata. You will die and you will leave debt for your children. Jesus. Church is not good. Right. Look at somebody say, it is not good. It is not good. I declare unto your life, everybody in this house, yes. that you will never die and live a, a, a debt for your children. Amen. When it is time, we will die in peace. Amen. And we will live a legacy. Amen. And your children will be paying debt. Whereby they have to have money to put it as down payment and buy their own house. It will be a burden. 
Recently, something happened in Ghana. On online, something, a man died, left 13 children or so. Depth upon depth. Why is the, uh, the viewing time, the children started cursing the father? They started cursing the father. Useless man. He didn't take care of us in the whole thing. Yes. Online, social media. And now watch this. Two children. And this is the widow. The man is no more. One fateful day, this lady prepared something and she was about to eat the food with her children. And here comes the creditor. A woman or a man, I don't know. Knocking. Mama Lizzie, how are you? Oh, Auntie Stella, I am doing great. Do you know me? Oh, uh, uh, uh. He said, your husband. One time, there was a time came to my place, borrowed what? Money. $700. And now that the man is not no more, I am here to get your two sons so that they can work for the depths of their father. The boys that have to console the woman because no more papa. That anytime the lady, this lady sees the boys, the lady feel good. But now here comes the creditor. I am taking them. They have to go and work for one year, two years. And when they finish, they will come back. How can you suffer or go through some things that you yourself the death of our fathers can never be our burdens. Amen. The things that our forefathers fathers did, may the Lord deliver you today Amen. from those things. Amen. Now watch this because of time. This woman said, I'm taking them. Grab Daniel, grab a, 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 a Stephen, young boys. Mommy, mommy, mommy. And this woman grabbed them. My sons, you will not go anywhere. This woman brought some, you know, bossy guys. They, you know, uh, you know, they grabbed the boys and the whole thing. And the woman said, Madam, wait. Wait. You cannot take my children. You wait. No. This can never be my portion. And the woman put some cloth around her neck. Started moving around. He said, let me go to prophet Elisha. Let me go to the eye of God. Let me go to the, uh, the ambassador of God. Prophet, the seer. Let me go and present my case before him. And I know that the God that my husband used to serve will speak. Bring me in the back. And here comes the woman. Prophet, you know that my husband used to fear God. My husband reverence who? God. So it means that you can fear God and if the Lord is not on your side and still live in poverty, and die in poverty. Because the woman said that you knew that my husband reverenced God. Fear God. So the man that fear God. How come the man became a beggar? I prophesy to everybody in this house. Professor. That you and your children will never be a beggar. Amen. You shall be a lender. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your children, children, children will never lack. Amen. If I'm speaking to somebody, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why one time David said, uh, I have not seen a righteous forsaken. Forsaking. Open. Now credit, I go. <laughs> Be fast. You, hold on. Hold on. You know that my husband.
husband reverenced God. The woman went to who? Prophet, Prophet Elisha. Do you know the reason why the woman went to Prophet Elisha? The woman thought that maybe the prophet would give her money. Wow. Because that prophet, that young guy used to be under the prophet. That's why he used the word, she used the word, as you can see, that my husband used to. It means that Elisha the prophet knew the husband. Thought that maybe it was sign a check. Can I tell you something? Your God will never give you a check this year. Ask me why. Your God will never give you a check this year. But your God will give you a business. Amen. Oh, I didn't hear amen. Amen. Because when God gives you this check, you will just spend it today. But when your God gives you the everlasting direction or business, your empty bowl will never, excuse me, your pocket will never go dry. So I prophesy to everyone. Professor. May your God give you direction. Yes. Your God will never give you a check. Amen. Your God will give you something Amen. that will bring a permanent solution for your life. Powerful. Now, everybody watch this. Please, pardon me. We do respect. Now, watch this. As you can see, my husband used to fear God. So, Papa, I am here. And the woman became disappointed. The woman was what? Disappointed. What do you have at home? What do you have in your house? The woman started looking left. Huh? At this man. What is really going on? What do I have? Then the woman said that your maid servant has nothing. No food. Nothing. But just a small bottle of oil that maybe my husband gave me. Am I right? Or maybe the oil just small just small god is talking to someone this 2023 that never in your life despise the smaller beginning because any journey must start from somewhere never in your life despise the smaller beginning then the prophet said, go to your neighbors. D, my daughter, everyone, uh, Mrs., everyone, go to them, uh, uh, everyone. Go and borrow empty vessels. Stella, can you give me one empty vessel? Can you give me two? Can I have them? So Stella gave this one four, uh, D gave this one seven, Sidoni gave this one eight, Sandrine nine, and come and see. They started talking about the woman. Oh, this woman needs to see psychiatrists. The woman is cuckoo. The way the husband, because empty verses for what? Because they've already rejected everything. Empty verses. When you finish drinking your water church, you will not value this anymore. Am I right? So if someone has to come to your house and get this, you begin to. Am I right? But they didn't know what God has already revealed to the woman. Because the prophet said, you just go and borrow empty vessels. This 2023, I am begging everyone, we must develop the spirit of obedience. Some of you hate the truth. But if the truth will, can kill you, then I will tell you the truth so that you can die hard. We shall know the truth and the truth will set us free. You don't need some people that will sugarcoat and you know, pamper something. Truth is the truth. You can never run from the truth. And look at what happened. So this woman started and the prophet said, 
when you get all the what? The empty verses, the things that you need. Mama, enter your room. This is the room of the woman with your two sons. Enter the room. And when you enter the room, you have to close the door. Shut the door. Am I right? Close it. Don't let anyone see what you are about to do. What is the meaning of that? Some of you, you open your doors too much. We must learn from our mistakes. I am telling you, this 2023, there are some people talk to them outside. Some at your door. Some inside your living room, but around your couch area. Don't let them cross the line to the kitchen. Because they are poisonous people. They can poison you. There are some people meet them at coffee shop. Because when you let them in, they will step out with something. Let him or her get a coffee. You two get a coffee and talk. That's it. Don't let them even know your house address. Woman, when you enter inside the room, you have to close the wall, the door. Do not let your neighbors see what you... Do you know the meaning? Do you know the meaning? And here comes the oil. He said that when you close the door, begin to pour the oil. Let me pour this oil here. I am telling you because of time, this one will fill, am I right? And there is no way this one can what? Why? Because it's just little. Does it make sense? We must learn something from here. Obedient and number two, the woman believed the prophet. The things you don't believe or you don't trust can never work for you. If you are in this house and if you don't trust me, oh yeah, go and worship somewhere. I'll pray for you hundred times will not work. Go to where you believe and the whole thing it will work for you. That is a principle. A spiritual principle. Because the oil that you believe is the oil that can transform your life. So don't waste your time. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The woman believed the prophet and said that if prophet Elijah has spoken, I don't care. The woman didn't ask the prophet, just more or you, what do you have to tell me to borrow more empty bed? The woman didn't. The woman said that I will do obedience. Started, ba, 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 ba. this one became what? Ba, 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 ba. This one became, ba, 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 ba. this one, there was still oil. This 2023, our bottle will never go dry. Amen. Your pocket will never go dry. Amen. Your bank account will never go dry. Amen. You, your life will never go dry. Amen. Always there will be oil Amen. inside your bottle. Amen. Always there will be food inside your bottle. Amen. You will never be a beggar. Amen. Always there will be customers. Amen. Always the Lord will lift your business up. Amen. Always the Lord will, con will elevate you. Amen. Your bank account will never go dry. Amen. I have spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare and according to the will of God, so shall he be. Amen. Shout amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Am I talking to someone? Yes, Major. Now, church, watch this. This one became what? This one became what? This one too. This one too. This one too. All the empty vessels. Then Mama Lizzie said, Daniel, Stephen, do you have more bottles? Then Daniel said, Mama, no. We borrowed 70 bottles. Now all of them are what? Fill. The woman said, oh, so we don't have any oil. And the oil ceased. The oil stopped. 
I want to show you something. Some of you that read my book, when the verses are ready, when I was sitting here, the Lord said, Ajumo, change it because I want to bless some people. When verses are ready, or you will flow. It's my book. And I'm going to, I will introduce the book today. Some people, I did it. I have 11 books. This year, I will release three. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. This year, I will release what? Three. three. This thing that I'm telling you right now, church, is inside my book. When the vessels, hold on, when all of the bottles became what? Filled. The oil. So this is a vessel. This is a vessel, am I right? So if there was more what? Vessels, the oil. So when the vessels are ready, if you are ready, the oil will not cease, but the oil will continue to Let me have the book. Bring one. Be fast. I'm preaching with you today. When the vessels are ready, oil flows. You see the vessel and you see the oil. Shout amen. amen. I introduced it, I think, last year or this year or something. Some people bought it in the whole thing. One of my Jamaican uh, lady, uh, daughter, the mother said that I need 10. I have to give it to my church. We have to use it for uh, a Bible stamp, something. Many people saw they, I don't know those who bought it. The, when you shout amen, you read it. When the verses are, this book it has been in my, I think, over seven years. Wow. No, over eight years. I don't do things just, no, 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 no. I have 10, 11 books. First lady has three or so. Wow. Yeah, but I believe in God's timing. Yeah. But the Lord said that this 2023, Jumo, preach about this. When the verses are ready. So the time all the verses, uh, 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 the oil world fell this one, the oil did what? Ceased. And do you know what happened? Everybody watch this because of time. The woman gathered all the things and went to the prophet. Some of you, you always refuse to follow up. It's in the book. When you receive your miracle, where you will receive it, you will stop going to that place. Juma will deliver you, you receive. Say, Juma, hey, goodbye. Mm, you kick Juma away. No, no. For the oil, for the verses to be what? Filled. Doesn't mean that you've arrived. You may need another direction. Another voice that will tell you that go out there and sell. To go and sell means that I have not given you the permission that when you go out there and sell, you will have favor and people will buy the oil. And when you sell them, you must use some to pay your debt. And the remaining one you must enjoy with your children. And it's inside the book. We serve a God who can pay your debt and give you capital. Something to start a business. It means that God doesn't want us to be in debt. Because the word of the Lord said that a, 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 what? a borrower is a slave to the lender. Church, if you need 500000 to buy your own house, all the bankers, they must see your uh, intestines. Am I right? All your kidneys and liver. Before they can give you, when they see even one cent, they will ask you. They will discern you how many times you have to eat. But it can never be our portion. Everybody shout hallelujah. According to the heaven.
through protocol. The Lord doesn't want us to be what? To be in what? Debt. The Lord wants us to be a lender, to give. Am I talking to someone? Look at the way the lenders they are enjoying. They'll be drinking coffee around the, you know, malls. You know, you will see them. And you, 4 a.m., you have to just drive and go. How to pay the bills, how to do everything. You have to pay uh, for 30 years. May the Lord this year see us through. Amen. May the Lord have mercy on us. Amen. May the Lord deliver us. Amen. The last thing. Close the door. Woman, go. God bless you, prophetess. Your, it will never. Now watch this. Close the door. Do not let anyone see. It's between you and your children. Do you know the meaning? Do you know the meaning? So that when you become rich, many people will not go out there and twist your waist. Because if you don't close the door, and when you allow your friends to see that this small oil, they will begin to tag you with black magic. They will say that you are the one that killed your husband for juju money. This 2023, close your door. It's not everyone that you have to allow them to enter your house. Shut your door, close your door. You are not a wicked person. But because of wickedness, do not allow just any house. No one just enter. There are some people coffee shop. There are some people uh, subway area. There are some people all you can eat. May you make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I am done in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, because of time. What is the time now? I am done. Everybody shout hallelujah. Be on your feet right now. We are in the new year. I am done. Shout amen. Now lift up your toes. Say dear Lord. Dear Lord. When the verses are ready. When the verses are ready. The oil. The oil. Uh, I don't know the reason why. When I was sitting here church. God is my witness. Was not planned. But when I was. The, the Lord said no. First day. Preach about this. Tell them to obey. Tell them to abide by my directions. And tell them that they will never be in debt. Tell them that I, Jehovah God, will pay their debt. And tell them that I, the Lord, will pay their debt and give them something to start their business. This 2023, you will become a business owner. This 2023, the Lord will deliver you from any debt. May the Lord save us from any debt. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, when you get the book, it's, it's, it's loaded. I am telling you, it's what? It's loaded. I myself even, it's loaded. Your obedience is the key, which is the chapter four. The obedience is the word key. What do you have? The man of God asks, what do you have? Am I right? Pay the price for the price. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> Very important. Shout hallelujah. You must change so many things. Shout amen. The place of prayer. You know something? Some of you, when your oil, when your empty verses become what? Filled. You run. But what about your geographical location? Where to sell? How to carry that thing? If not, it will become a burden. Yes. You may need the same person that give you the direction to tell you that go and sell. Go and sell means that woman, from henceforth, you have to work. Amen. You have to work. Amen. Because God will never bless idle people. No. You cannot be sitting inside your room and say that I claim it. You claim what? So woman, go out there, go and sell. And that faithful day said, God so good. It was a, a wonderful anointing service in the Abundance Grace Chapel. And the people went out there. The prophet said that everybody must bring oil. People went out there, saw a woman selling what? 
uh, uh, oil. Madam, I need one. Madam, I need two. Madam, I need four. Madam, I need five. Lo and behold, the woman, uh, the oil, everything. And the woman came home. Do you know what happened? Here comes the creditor. Knocking, knocking. Mama, you gave me two weeks. I am here to take your children. The woman said, I sit down. I am coming. Take it easy. And this woman started looking at the room and the whole thing. The first time they catch and the whole thing, you know, the uh, nasty one. But the woman has already changed all the furniture, everything. You say, what is really going on? The woman came with a powerful check, Bank of America check. Just signed. He said, how much? And my husband used to own you this. I will add another one. I have to pay you. May the Lord remove you from anyone that will try to ridicule you. Amen. May the Lord save you from shame. Amen.